What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Vinny Vega, and today we're going to be making a meme into a bubble. A meme bubble, or a mumble. Um, we're going to be adding this to our stream, and um, the effect is simple. Um, it's actually just like this right here. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> So we're basically going to be taking this video clip and turning it into that, essentially. And uh, making it easy to add to the stream. That way it doesn't just like go to a different scene. We actually just have it in our gameplay itself. It's just like kind of over the top of it. Just a little corner of it, just like you've seen just now. So let's get started. So basically you take any video, your movie, favorite movie clip, whatever, one liner, and then you kind of just edit it from there. Now, first thing you want to do after you add it to your scene or your uh, timeline, you want to go ahead and disable resample because it's like some weird motion blur that Vegas introduces and whatnot. So from there, you want to find out where you want to cut it. For this particular clip, I already know where I have to cut it just by the wavelengths because I actually just want that one part. This is uh, the main catch right here. Oh, because someone came in the mail today. Yeah, I did. These nuts. <laughs> Got <laughs> as funny as like the these nuts is um i just want to get them and laughing because it's like for those situations where you like really just like kind of really really stuck it to them in pvp or whatever <laughs> anyways i guess that's why i use it don't ask me these things but anyways we're gonna go ahead and delete that part right there and uh, we will also as you can see the volume is kind of kind of loud it's peaking actually these uh volumes are the volume in it is itself is kind of just way up there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to lower that down a bit so it's not peaking quite as much Got <laughs> okay so that's not bad so we're at like negative five decibels for those all right so now what we want to do is we want to crop it or we want to mask it specifically so that little crop square you want to go ahead and click on it and then go to mask and then you want to be on this option right here the little circle and you just want to make your little circle in your desired location because that's what's going to show once you do that for this particular one it's pretty easy go ahead and hit exit on that so now we have a nice little bubble here right now what we gotta do is we gotta insert another video track. So right click on the bottom underneath the timeline, hit that video track. Now we have the space right here. We move the video up because we want that on top of our media generator. So go to media generators, go to solid color. And of course we're gonna use green because we wanna chroma key this out in OBS. So now we wanna just make that nice and even with our timeline. And for all intents and purposes, we're, we're done with that clip. Now, a quick tip, because sometimes uh, you'll have a video clip or video, whatever you're trying to use, that might be like in the corner somewhere or whatever. If that ever happens, the easiest way, you don't want to use the crop feature, because what will happen if you use this is it'll, it actually has like a, a part where it's just going to cut it off all, all together, depending on the size of the video and whatnot. So what you want to use is actually motion track. And this little square right here dictates where it's going to go. So, so you can move it around to wherever you want. In this case, I have the one aspect ratio locked, but you kind of get the idea. So you can move left to right, up and down, wherever you want to do it. But generally speaking, you want to center it because then you can. it makes it easier to uh, adjust once you're in your OBS scene. So go ahead and default that back up because it's already centered. So once we do that, we want to go ahead and render this out. So you want to go to render as, and it doesn't matter if it's 1080p or 720p, that really doesn't matter. I'm probably just going to do it as a, as a Twitch highlight because, uh, that's my 720p, uh, thing right here. So we're going to put this into, to my Twitch brand folder. It makes it easier to get at. I'm going to go to customize, see where we're at. Everything else should be fine. 720p, 60 frames per second is fine. Um, you don't actually need 10,000. I mean, it's a short clip, so it's going to render fast anyway. But 4,000 is fine for, for this type of deal. 
and uh, go ahead and hit OK on that. Make sure it's highlighted, then hit render. And it will only take like seconds to render something like this, even if you have a pretty slow computer. Okay, now that our clip is rendered out, let's go ahead and add it into OBS for our scenes and sources. Okay, so now we're gonna have a little bit of a streamception thing going on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add it to our OBS. I already removed the original clip, so I'm gonna show you the process of adding that right now. So go ahead and go to Add in your sources. You wanna click on Media Source. Now keep in mind with Media Source, you won't actually hear it, but your audience will. So you wanna adjust the volume accordingly with some test records before you go live with whatever video that you plan on adding. Now, obviously we're gonna label this as Giatum. Now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually like, we're gonna go ahead and pause the volume on this once we, uh, in fact, we can pause it right now. Go ahead and pause that right now because we're gonna loop it until we're done with our adjustments. That way it's not just like loud in your ears while I'm doing this. Okay, so. That should be good right there. Now, as you can see, the clip was over OBS. So what we're gonna do is put it in our spot that we want it. We're gonna go ahead and adjust it down to size. That should be good right there, I think. And we're gonna mess with our volume knob too here in a second, once we uh, get everything else done. So now we go to right click on that, filters right click into the effects filters or hit add. Either one will work. Chroma key and hit okay. And you're done with that portion of it. Now it's chroma keyed out and well, more or less perfect. So now we gotta look at our volume level and see where we gotta put it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Actually, it seems pretty good. I think I made a, the right choice in Vegas where it was at. Okay, so uh, properties, go back and hit loop off, untick that. And now our clip is officially in. Turn the volume back on and we um, went ahead and this will make an attack or go. So right now we're gonna we're actually gonna find a hotkey to, to activate this with. So we'll go to hotkeys. We go find your clip, which will be um, in your whatever scene that you have it in. In this case, it'll be gameplay for me for scene, and then go to on the sources and got him is right here. So now I'm gonna put um I think forward forward slash should work. Now for me I personally I do have a stream deck, so I'm going to stream deck it in. But uh, for, you, for you guys that don't have that, probably the simplest way to do it. So now we can do it on the fly. Ha! Got it! Got it! Got it! Cool. So that will activate it and uh, disactivate or deactivate it. And uh, that's good to go. So um, I hope this got this. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this helps you out and I don't know words very well apparently and where was I going with this this wasn't actually my first idea for an OBS tutorial type deal just just kind of just like came to me uh, the other day because a friend asked me about this and I figured I'd share it with you guys how I do it and if there's anything else that you'd want me to do as far as streaming stuff or even like maybe even video editing stuff too I don't do it as often as I used to with video editing, but I do stream every day. So you could always ask me to on my stream if you desire to by clicking on the link down below for uh, my Twitch link, which is uh, twitch.tv forward slash Vinny underscore Vega. A little shameless self-promotion there, but actually this is my channel, so that would be not shameless self-promotion. But anywho, that's how you do that stuff. And leave a comment down below what you think, like and all that good stuff. I don't know what kids say nowadays. Uh, usually I just say have a badass day and that's it. But yeah, um, I hope you guys have a badass day. See ya.
Bye. When the demons come, do you see my face? 